Welcome to the Greenlight Group YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie Mason. Today I'm going to show you how to build a topology based vCenter server design. Start by going to designs and then topology and then components. We're going to select the vCenter server component and then choose save as to make a copy of it. I'm going to call this my vCenter server. We want to make a copy so that we can make changes to the properties without changing the out of box component. I'm going to begin by changing customization spec from string to list to list so that I can add the VM types that I want so my users don't have to know my customization specs. I'm going to add a rail 6 Windows 2008 R2 and a Windows 2012 server. I'm also going to change the template reference from string to list and add the same VM types. With their corresponding templates. I'm going to change the folder name and set default value to demo so that these servers are easy to find in my vCenter and set the VM prefix to list and add two types of VM prefixes Linux which I'm setting to LVM and Windows which I'm setting to WVM. This will make it easier for us to find the VMs and recognize what they are because the names are going to be just randomly generated characters. Our next step now that we've got our component created is to build our design. So we go back to the designer and select create. I'm going to call this my vCenter server. Next, select tags. That will make it easy for our users to find. And then an icon that indicates that it's a VM 
You can choose whichever vegan, whichever icon you like. Next, we can select our component and put it anywhere in the palette. We're looking for my my vCenter server. I'm going to check the properties that I want to be customizable by an end user when they create their request. So we want CPU count, customization spec, memory size, template reference, and VM prefix, and then we select save. Next we can run a test to make sure that our VM builds the way it should. Select Next, and I'm going to choose Rail 6, Rail 6, and Linux. I'll leave the other settings with their defaults because this is just a test VM and I don't need it to be very big. We can see that the server is now in the deploying transition phase. If we go to operations orchestration and look at run management, we can see that there is a deploy test run of vCenter server. If we double click on this, we can see that we're currently in the clone VM stage. As you can see, our VM is now built and we, if we go back to our automation center, we can see that we have a VM built with the properties of the host name LVM and IP addresses and we show our VM as being online. Thank you for joining me for this demo on how to build a topology design for a vCenter server. Check back on the Greenlight Group Automation channel for additional videos including how to publish this design so that your end users can use it.